group hug. Hi guys and welcome to questions we've been avoiding. I'm in a really bad mood today, just want to put that out there. I'm on my period, my boobs are tender and swollen. I, I nearly cried yesterday and today. A lot of pent up feelings, so let's see how these difficult questions go down. We haven't actually been kind of like actively avoiding questions. No, basically, it's just the tag going around. It's just the tag, yes. So right. basically we're saying, bait. ask us difficult questions and we'll not avoid them. Let's act like we have though, so that the watch time I mean, is better. There yeah. are some things yeah, that yeah, yeah. and they'll be revealed. But do you want to just dive in straight away? Yeah. No bullshit, yeah, question so one. Are you hoping for a boy or a girl? Interesting question because boy. Let me, let me tell you something about that. I think some people are like, obviously the sex, gender, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. Yeah, we want a healthy baby, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Politically correct bullshit aside, what are we hoping for? What are we hoping you for? You actually want a boy, don't you? I actually do. I would like a girl, but just so you know, there are reasons for that. Does anyone care about the reasons? There's, there's, there's psychological reasons oh behind God. that. No offense, no one cares about psychological reasoning. And then someone said, would you be excited if you had twins? Well, yes and no. We only really wanted two kids, or I do. I said to my mum, mum, if I have twins, how do I breastfeed them? Like, one on each? And she was like, no, one after the other. I see loads of people do one on each. When have you ever seen someone loads. with two children attached to their breasts? All the time, when I'm, I'm, I'm on show Instagram. You. Okay. I'm show you. Two, two, two. Oh my god, that two. looks so sore. Two, well, Okay, all right, two. then answer me this. They're all breastfeeding. Answer them. me this. If I have triplets, yeah. what then? I don't know. There you go. People keep telling me, I knew this was a thing, that I can take hormones so I can also breastfeed the baby, but I will not be doing that. Next question. Will you eat the placenta? No. What? Who eats the placenta? It's Next really question. It's really healthy. Next question. What is the most embarrassing thing that happened to you and Rosie during sex? I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything I either. can't think of anything. I don't think anything really embarrassing Sometimes happened. Sometimes we Once laugh. Once my dad anything. overheard a Skype session. That's the most embarrassing that thing that's ever happened to me. I wasn't embarrassed by that because I technically wasn't there. I didn't think anything embarrassing has ever happened. <sighs> Who's top and who's bottom? Please don't just say 50-50 lol. Someone said, actually got a little bit sassy and said, don't just say 50-50 to be quirky. Right guys, you don't get it. I'm gonna clear this up. It's 50-50. I mean, you guys might have this type of relationship. Do you believe that every night or whenever we do it, right, that Rose will top me and I'll just lie there and that's the same formula for the nigh on nine years this year? No, sometimes she tops me. Sometimes I top her. Sometimes we top other people. I mean each other. Exactly. In Attitude, Rose is more of a top. Fair. What do you actually predict for the future of your channel when the baby comes? You know we will support whatever decision you make. Your family is always top priority, but will you still make videos on your channels and will there be any more tours? Don't worry, we will still be uploading, because this is our job. I definitely can see a reason for another tour in the future. Uh, I knew I knew you'd forget. <sighs> What we were talking about earlier? Oh, you are due, aren't you? Why do you just forget big things, big parts of our lives? Why do you always forget our anniversary? I've never oh, forgotten. Where, our... When's our first date? Yeah. 20th of October, 2011. Have you forgotten why we're going on? No, of course I haven't. Oh, oh, of course. Yes, right. you're, yeah. I think our YouTube content will remain the same on this channel yeah. completely. And the same on the gaming channel. Although I'll be like squirting breast milk at the lens just that, to see how far I can content. do it. Exactly, 100%. It's, it's yeah. like a breast milk challenge. Taste test. So, which one's sweet and which one's savory? We've said it before, I say it again, we will be doing that content on our channel. The only channel that's gonna change is the vlog, because vlogging is vlogging our daily lives or everyday lives. Clickbait baby titles is what I'm gonna expect from us. Where's the baby gone? I dropped the baby again. No, that's just too far, isn't it? I mean, that's just, that's just irresponsible. I had loads of questions about this. Loads of people don't understand what you did to get rid of my migraine. I went down on her. How stupid are you? Oh, that's really mean to them. They obviously didn't understand it. Like, I really thought that was pretty clear. I have like <sighs> clinically raging migraines. You can't underestimate and how Rose stupid people are. Can solves you? <laughs> them with her tongue. CPM, CPM, keep it on the lowdown. Yeah. Is there any aspect of same you both actually really dislike? The only ever time I've disliked it is when the very few people overstep the mark and act like so, in, so in when a someone crosses like, a boundary. Yeah, it yeah. took me a really long time to say that, didn't yeah, it? Really. But fortunately, that's only happened, I'd say, three times in nine years. It annoys me because we put so much of ourselves on. In fact, we put all of ourselves yeah. pretty much yeah. online. It's like, Literally guys, what, what more do you want? Oh, you want my address. Oh, you found it. Okay, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and that has happened, and that is awkward. When people are really avid fans, and I can't blame them, like, we wouldn't be here if we didn't have fans who are fans of our channel. Not, there's nothing wrong with that. But some people are so Absorbed. in everything yeah. that they want more and more and more and more and more. There's only so much we can give because the relationship is different between obviously like mine and your relationship. Mm. I can't give that to somebody else. But it's funny because I think there's something about us that is, and I'm really happy about it, appealing to people because yeah. I want them to think that we're, you know, very open, honest and 
warm people and good friends. Yeah. And I treat people like that. But and I we guess are good friends. Good friends will respect your boundaries. And right. we've talked about this live on you now as well. But we've had issues not just with fans. It's been friends. It's been people in our lives. We have a lot of people really try and get very intimately close with us. And it's not for us having a lack of boundary or not anymore. No. We've put some in place. I think the biggest struggle I find is I'm not very good with my own personal boundaries. I'm too polite and kind sometimes. It's difficult to say no oh, to people. Humble brag. Then I think people kind of take advantage a little yeah. bit. Has a fan ever done anything creepy? Yes. Yeah. One time a fan found our address when we were living somewhere else and emailed and threatened us. threatened to tell people as well. Yes, that's true. Yeah. And then this has happened a few times found actually. Found our hotel room when we were in a different country and sent something to the room, which is really dangerous. It was just a bit uncomfortable. It wasn't through it's malice really at all. It was actually through something quite well, sweet. Well, actually Actually, but it was just a little bit. The person behind it all, I think it wasn't sweet. I think. I, I can't tell, but either way, it freaked I me out. <laughs> Putting our uh, lives in danger is not sweet when you do things like threaten to leak addresses or find where we're staying and tell other people. That's dangerous because any yeah. crazy could turn up. The way they found the hotel that we were staying at, we didn't tag it, we didn't do Insta Stories Live or anything no. like that. We took a, an Instagram picture in front of a painting and this person found the signature on the painting, found the painting online and where it was sold to recently, found the hotel and then got someone else to call to to find our room, which I yeah. thought was quite extreme. But Next no. time I'm gonna be like, Mum, you didn't have to go to such an extreme to find I would have just texted you when I landed. Just you know, you know. know. It's a lot, isn't it? Not a question that you've been avoiding, but a question that's never been asked. I'm sure your new house is all nice and pretty. Do you ever regret moving into the neighborhood with all the ignorant people? You don't know what your neighbors are like until you move into a house. It's true. So we could have moved anywhere and we could have had great neighbors or we could have bad neighbors. Also, I quite like having something to bitch about. Yeah, I do. It as gives Rosie well. and I something else to talk to each other about other yeah. than. Um, YouTube drama or yeah. friend drama or yeah. it's actually nice to have like something else yeah. and we have our allies in the neighborhood and then we have our enemies no I don't regret I'm happy with no, our I'm happy. we've really settled in I, I love, love it. it I love it I love it when is your worst fight with Rosie and why as a married couple I don't think we've had a big fight in years and years and years I'd say like around 2013 or something we had quite a bad fight a few weeks ago when you left what when was that are you being serious yes it's nice to know that you can when remember when was that so you just had a go at me for not remembering what kind of tour we might be doing yep. and you can't remember the fight that actually made you leave the house that was, in the if car. you're talking about one that was last year which was a few weeks ago Rosie I'd say that one and I can't remember what it was oh I remember it I called you a twat I said shut up you twat we had a fight where I was like you know I need to put my foot down now so I just hold on say a sec you've relayed that like I was totally in the wrong you just said that you called and me that, a twat yeah for a reason because you were being a twat not fair can you remember the argument no I can't me neither <laughs> Do long-term relationships get tough? How do you manage to still love each other? First of all, we don't manage to still love each other. We just love each other. Some days people surprise you. Some days people are more like warm and you're like, wow, I really love when you do that. And then some days you're just like, ah, oh, this is like a normal day. It literally depends. But recently, we've been changing up our routine a bit for 2020. Yeah. We've been learning some new stuff, preparing to be mothers. I think Rose has really been impressing me with things she's been doing. What, like what? Just little things that you do. It's really little normal things, but like just what? recently, I really liked it. Like what? Just like the way you keep the house tidy and the way oh, you cook and well. little things you do that they could be took for granted, but they shouldn't be. Do you know what I mean? Because you don't have thank to you. do these things. I thought you were taking them for granted. I wasn't taking them for oh, granted. I did say that. I've been doing work at You me. have, you have. I think really, honestly, this is probably not really the answer you guys want to hear, but I think if you really love someone and it's right, then it just works. Yeah. I'm not saying that it doesn't come without its challenges. No, because obviously you're people and you're going to butt heads sometimes. Yeah, totally. When I butt heads with you, I hear hollow noise. <laughs> That's you. Yeah, it's me. It's all about how you treat each other, isn't it? And, and having that mutual respect when you realise your other half is wrong. Sense of humour, I think, to keep something lasting long because if there's no sense of humour, What boring. is there, man? Yeah. You know? It's working so It's just well. working. <laughs> We're just obnoxiously in love and it just yeah. works. I don't think it's been that hard at all. It hasn't. Do you remember that time you left in the car? Yeah. I still don't know why. No. Have you ever regretted anything you've done as a couple? I think I regret some of the friendships I made. No. Is that too harsh? No, I understand. Um, I regret business decisions that I've gone into oh. as a couple with other people, perhaps. I regret letting people have so much control in our lives. So I think yes. this is where I have got stronger boundaries. I us. regret a few of the managers we've had. Yeah, one. Strongly. Yeah. <laughs> What's happened between you and Kaylin and Lucy? So interestingly, I went back and reread because we all had a big group thread on Facebook. A very mature thread. Yeah, and I went back to read it to see what did happen. 
happened. I know, I and can't so remember. I have to say that Lucy came across great. Basically, no one did anything wrong. No, it really wasn't. We just really disagreed on a few we things. We just disagreed. Um, we didn't want to come across as a lesbian One Direction by taking loads yeah. of business deals as a fault. Our there music was, wasn't strong enough to sell. There was some more to it. So something went wrong with something we were all working with. Yeah. And we were very upset. So we pulled out. Because it affected us yeah. greatly. Because yeah. it was wrong kind of on our half. A few misunderstandings, yes, right? Yes, misunderstandings. And we were like, you know what, we're going to step back out of this, but, you know, best of luck with everything. Because it kind of wasn't going in the direction that it was supposed to go in for us. Not be a part of the friendship with Ken and Lucy, just that yeah. particular yeah. opportunity. But unfortunately, it affected the friendship. It did, because I think that yeah. opportunity also allowed Ken and Lucy to see each other when they were doing long distance at the right. time. By us pulling out, effectively, they couldn't see each other at but that point. They but were a month away from moving in together they were. permanently. They were. So, so I, I was that... like, I don't need to feel guilt about them not seeing each other. No. They had the house ready, they had a car totally. ready, they had a but job I think lined up. That didn't help the situation. And as right. a result, maybe we just parted ways. A I little think bit. basically, because of where it was in everyone's lives, tensions were really high because. Rachel's just on a, a period. Reading it back, I don't regret a single thing. Don't, and it's all I don't, good now. Yeah, it is, as far as I'm I remember. think. <laughs> Me and Lucy so, unblocked each other, it was great. Oh, I really like that. Yeah, I same. really a, a like modern, that. happy ending. Lucy, if you're watching, she's probably not. I hope America is treating you well. Yeah. And I'm a fan of your blonde hair. Oh, I like her blonde hair as well. Have you ever been close to quitting YouTube? Yes! Yes, what no, actually changed your mind? No, not. No, I haven't, and that's the honest truth. We I haven't. haven't, but the way other people judge our success and other people's success on YouTube is not right. So for example, right. there are all these channels that I've seen, like dragging channels, what are they called? Social commentary social channels. Commentary channels yeah. And they'll say like, oh, the death of so-and-so's channel, and mm. they'll like look at Social Blade or whatever they'll mm. look at, and they'll say, oh, they don't get the views anymore. What's really interesting is, Rose and I know what gets good views. Rating lesbian YouTubers. For What's so interesting is some of our lowest viewed videos this year have earned us the most money. Some of our most popular stuff is probably a bit racy. A I didn't know what you were going to say yeah. then. No. I was like, racy. <laughs> also very gay focused. But unfortunately, some of those ones that pop off, as I like to say, some of them might have copyrighted content. Maybe we're reacting to something. Swear or words. they're just really rude. And so that lowers yeah. our... How Dramatically. Much but this even still, adult. I mean, all of our content, just so you know, is on the very low side of, of what advertisers are willing to pay. Yeah, it's pay. low. We don't want to change our content too much, really. Yeah. I guess I swear a lot naturally. I guess you fucking do. Yeah. Someone might look at someone else's channel and go, ooh, that video is not done very well, but actually our lowest videos always earn possibly double what our biggest videos yeah, earn. Yeah, double. So actually those kind of put dinner on the table and then the big videos are just fun to make and yeah. lots of more people enjoy them. Tapping a demo. Um, the biggest stress of YouTube, and you've just got to forget about it, but is other people's judgment. I think yeah. there are these nasty channels and nasty people and nasty forums yeah. and as I've said before, most people are wrong. So they're like, oh, their channel's not doing well. Actually, it's doing great. No like, one's ever said that about our channel. Not that I know of. With YouTube having so many issues, is it still possible to make money? Are you guys doing okay? If you weren't making enough money, would you keep doing videos? Is there anything we can do to help? You can just um, send some cash to my PO box. Okay. We've never had a Patreon or anything like that. We haven't. I, I like don't judge that... people who do. No. It's just not for me. No. Instead of something that you can just kind of like donate, donate to, to yeah. I get a big kick out of doing cameos because it's fun and I love yeah. seeing people's reactions. We videos. see people react, and sometimes like it's their birthday, it's their anniversary. Yeah, and it's a better way for us to be able to kind of like talk to you guys and have a relationship. Yeah, it's individual and personalised. Yeah, and we do you now streams, which is actually great because we get away with slightly more on there. So right, anything we can that's be not like and candid. Exactly. So we do that every week, and I feel I can go deeper as well because say we're having this exact conversation, but then I can hear your feedback and mm. then I can respond again. Mm. Also, merch. Merch. So we try our best to produce some really cool, quirky stuff, all ethically sourced, all nice quality, uh, really not good too quality. expensive. Expensive, hopefully, yeah. but you we'll know, try our best. we do honestly try our best to produce great content and great products. So yeah. that's kind of how you can help. Or just send us some food. <laughs> Why don't you want to use each other's eggs for pregnancy? Now, a few people, only a few, like the majority of people got it. The last video I made, I talked about my feelings we made. about, we made it. about uh, being the other mother of our child. Yeah. Most people understand that that's just me processing my kind of identity. And if anyone said I was overthinking it or whatever, any person, a heterosexual or whatever who's going to have a baby, you go through an identity change. It's also super expensive, I'm just gonna say yeah. it. It's really yeah, it's, expensive. Yeah, it so takes we money, have to time, be planning. Really, really sure of ourselves, where we are in life, and you know, it's slightly more planned, and that's just the way it yeah. is. So a few people misunderstood what I was saying and said, Oh, you're having doubts. If you're having doubts, you shouldn't have the baby. No, I'm not having doubts about wanting a baby. I'm having thoughts and feelings about what is my role in my baby's life. Yeah, and what kind of which parent is will I be? I'm thinking about, yeah. And Thank how can I be the best parent yeah. for my wife yeah. and for my child. It's an interesting question. 
question about the egg thing, because why aren't we egg swapping? Well, first of all, we really didn't want to do it. Rose has polycystic ovaries. I do. You know, we're trying IUI, which is insemination, right? And they said, if that doesn't work, we can move on to IVF. It's more problematic when you have polycystic ovaries. Mm. So IVF and egg swapping are the same procedure in that they like to stimulate your eggs to yeah. take your eggs. Yeah. And that's more dangerous when you have polycystic ovaries. So right. it's not that you can't do it, but... It's just that for us, it was seemed more complicated than it needed to be. And yeah. for us, just from a personal perspective, it didn't matter enough to do it. Just yeah. wasn't for us. Wasn't that, for that us. doesn't mean it's not for other people. I see it work really well with other people. It's, it's just... like men, isn't it? Just not for us. Not for me. Sorry. Not for not you. For me. Not for you. Not for me. Is the reason Rosie is having baby doubts because of the L chat? First of all, I don't read the L chat. I bet me. I can guess what they're saying on it. What, go on. This is the thing, right? Because we used to read it. I feel like I can, like, I can, I can I, get into the I tone. can predict what they'll say. Hold on, hold on. Those two aren't ready to have babies. Okay, they're the most irresponsible parents ever. All they do is talk about farts and jokes, and Rose is so mean to Rose, it's actually unbelievable. I like that, I like that. Rosie should just be with a man and have a baby with a man. She's okay. having feelings, she's having feelings for men. She's having feelings for men, yeah. that's why she's having doubts. Yeah. So the L chat has no power over me now. It can't, because I don't, I don't read, read it. it. I haven't read But I said before, and I'll say it again, someone recently told me that the L chat rated all the YouTubers. We've just said. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they did it solely based on looks and we only did it on nipple confidence. Yeah, so totally. Not the same. Totally not the uh, same. The uh, psychological damage that I've got from gossip forums and anonymous people saying stuff like rating me against other women for my looks alone, it's took time to yeah. heal from. It's only okay if you come out on top. Right, and then you're fine. <laughs> then you're fine. <laughs> I don't know who was at the bottom. I haven't read the Owl Chat since 2016. And since 2016, I thought it was before that. I'm just gonna be honest, I made the most money, got the most out of life that I've wanted. Our marriage is probably better. And I'm really happy. People on the Owl Chat, if you're talking about us in a negative way, we can't hear it. Just go for it. Yeah, because just honestly, can... just go yeah. for well, it. Well, they clearly are. Have fun doing it. Yeah. If, if, it's making if it makes you, happy, you better. To bring me down, we stopped reading the L chat, and the next year was our most successful year we've yeah, ever had. Ever. And we were like, wow, sorry, but if you believe in like law of attraction and stuff, get rid um, of anything it's negative. Like all bye the bye. negativity was gone. Goodbye. And, but if you had a forum, they were anonymous, all saying yeah. exa honestly what they thought about you, you yeah. would be addicted to reading. Yeah, because, you would. Because it's like yeah. feedback, but then it's yeah. almost not real feedback because people are just very nasty. I don't know. I really. think they're all really happy on the L chat, <laughs> and that's why they're investing so much time. They are so happy in life. They're like, I'm so happy. I'm just going to go and drag some people I don't know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you entertain yourself for hours, don't you? <laughs> I'm crying. People on the L chat who have said, anything negative about me. I hope you're happy because you did hurt me. So you got what you wanted. You did fuck me up. I did have therapy. Well Thank then you. guys. Thanks. Well you then. brought me down. I honestly How, hope. No, no, seriously. Look at your karma. Look at what you've done. You affected my life. I can guarantee they're alone and they haven't got anyone. So no, it's not the reason I'm having doubts about the baby and I'm not having doubts about having a baby. All right guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I really enjoyed that video. It I got honest, it. it got fun. It's I cry laughed at myself. Yeah. I think you're L chat, you've broken Rosie. It's only no, her about like No, I was broken. And now I'm strong. Longer than yesterday. Very old reference. Yep. Take care of yourselves, guys, and we will see you this time next week. Mwah. Bye. Why did I? Bye. <laughs> Bye.